Hello everyone, this is Meads and this is going to be my review for the Super Deform number 277 Yonen Gunshi Ikazuki Maru. I think I pronounced that correctly. And um it does resemble the Deep Striker. <laughs> and um and um, I'll, I'll be doing my reviews a bit uh differently. And I just want to show you guys the unpainted version and I will paint this and resume my uh, review afterwards so I just want and oh, I want to put all that in one video so um, you get a you don't have to jump videos <laughs> so here's what it looks like unpainted so you can see it's all white in the middle uh, red on the arms pretty much the whole thing is red on the arm and the weapons two beam cannons in the back which is really nice it's all black as well as this sword here and you do have this pole axe and the feet it's all white and the back um chibi uh, guy actually there's a chibi guy for this one and it's all white as well so I'll be painting it uh, probably close to the box art and I'll assume the review then So this is part two. Uh, pretty much, um, as I mentioned before, this is the part where it's painted. Well, somewhat. <laughs> so again, this is number two hundred seventy-seven. This is the Yonen Gunshi Ikazuki Maru. So why don't we start with the little guy first? And I guess this is the first time we're seeing this little guy. And uh, one second. There's a little guy. As you can see, I actually use uh, stickers. Yeah, I got a little bit lazy. So for the middle part, that sticker, the little jewel in the middle of the torso, as well as the orange sticker. And I also used the ribbon in the back, just an orange sticker as well. Other than that, I painted the chin red, and the soles the red. Oh, the eyes are sticker size, as you can see. And other than that, I just pound lined the certain areas of the head, the arms, or the hands. And there we go. Um, next part I will go over is his, um, like a tricycle or like a scooter, kind of. <laughs> and, um, as you can see, I've also used stickers on this one. Yeah, I got a little bit lazy. But, uh, um, I did paint the gold parts here and pound lined it. But I actually started, um, painting the chest, I mean, the vents here. Uh, gold, but I just decided, you know what, uh, I'm gonna be painting red and I just put in a sticker and, and to me it looks okay, just that it's kind of rough on the edges because of how the stickers are, you know, built. So on the bottom here, uh, that's stickers as well. Um, one cool thing about the stickers is, or not a cool thing, but one thing uh, I did with the stickers, I have to contour with the, you know, the mold. So I kind of have to press it around, make sure it you know gets to there, which is kind of nice. Um, so it's not just flat, it has some sort of texture. As well as the vents here, as you can see, I kind of press on it. And there we go. Now what we're going to do is, we have the little guy right here in um, the sitting position. Then you have the car, as you can see there. And there's a slits underneath, and you're gonna go put him down like so. And there we go. And I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've never seen, um, you know, this before or this gimmick. And now he's driving or riding his little mini scooter. <laughs> and um, and actually, there's another um, transformation which I will go over. And actually, before I forgot, there's a crest piece on his forehead, which is kind of look like the, well, that kind of looks like the double zeta, but I'm uh, not sure if that's actually for the double zeta, but yeah. Which I still need to get a double zeta kit. <laughs> and here we go. This is the feet, the arm, and the pole axe weapon, or kind of doubles as a beam cannon and um, this is pretty much um, pegs over here 
and I do apologize the focus goes in and out but I'll, I'll zoom out in a bit and there's the other side same thing the feet the arm and the rifle goes over there I'm not gonna push it all the way in because of the paint <laughs> and hopefully it sticks together there we go and last but not the least here we'll be adding this part here which is pretty much the head of the you know transform part and there we go <laughs> and uh, why don't we transform him to his um supposedly you know the bigger guy as you can see in the box right there and um again we have to disassemble it And one cool thing about you know when you're building this kit is the parts are actually molded you know in a way that uh, you can just pop it off the runners. So pretty much the gates are you know easily, so you don't have to worry about knobs that much. You you still kind of do, but not so much. So that's that's one uh, kind of nice feature about this. And let's see, Put this off. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is add the arms. And how to add the arms is quite interesting. Um, uh, okay, here we go. See that part there? You actually hold it. There we go. Uh, let's see. And you're going to just push it up. So it's actually holding it. Huh. Kind of interesting. Other one. Here we go. Hold it. Then just push it up. It doesn't really um, lock in place, but for the most part, it's there. Now, uh, let's put on the feet. This one, this part here is uh, uh, the outside part. And uh, it's kind of obvious from this side and it goes here and another interesting thing about this kit is when you're adding the poly caps you usually put it on the peg but actually you just put it there this is the same poly cap as the unicorn the circular one <clears throat> and you just put it in there and you sandwich it as opposed to you know having it you know put it here and, you, and there's a bolt right there so that's kind of interesting and there we go and um, I'm gonna put the face plate and there's pretty much just a peg inside I actually I don't know if you can see it. it's quite bright but right there it goes in like that and there we go you do have an option of putting this in there um, but I'm not gonna do that right now and let's see um, you do have the backpack right here and you can put in this armor and actually this thing is there's an extra thing you can do with this one which I will show you guys later there we go and I still need to clean up that part there but for the most part that's good enough and another thing you can do is add the guns and I'll add this here so again the polycap just goes in the the ball socket right away there we go other one here and so you have a double barrel backpack which is pretty awesome <clears throat> On the back, so you can attach it to the two uh, peg holes at the back of the head of the chibi guy, and as well as the part of the, of the tricycle, as you can see there. And let's put it on. There we go. 
and that's pretty cool. And uh, let's see, this is uh, kind of like the <clears throat> rifle gun or sword too, sort of like a gun blade. And this just goes here. And the pole axe, um, which you can hold here. And another interesting about the hands, it's not hollow. It's actually there's a peg on the back of it, which is kind of interesting. You usually have the hands, you know, hollow on the back, but not this one. And there we go. And it doesn't end there. So I might have to go to part two.